Hello everybody, this is TechCut. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is taking a look once again at the new Pop! OS Cosmic. Now the reason we're taking a look at it again is because they actually released a beta version where all the features work and it's basically about to be fully released, I believe this month. So here is the desktop and what we're gonna be doing just like last time is checking out everything that we can to see how just how it functions. Uh, basically, Cosmic is a highly modified version of the GNOME desktop environment. And you could see that if we go ahead and search for GNOME, we actually do get results. They're using a lot of the GNOME applications. If I go over to the About section here, you could see the GNOME version and the Windows system. It's running X11 and it's not running the uh, 3.40, it's still running 3.38 or at least based on this version of GNOME. But even being a GNOME based desktop environment, they're still calling it their own. It's Cosmic Desktop Environment. Now, if you do remember from the last video, it was very archaic. It was, wasn't was even really released as even an alpha or beta stage. I just was able to get some of the stuff from GitHub and kind of put together something, but this is actually what it's gonna end up being here. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is up here at workspaces and applications. If I go ahead and open up another thing such as our file manager here, and I go over to workspaces, you can see that these two are separated out. So workspaces has its own thing. So this is where you can see all the open windows and your active workspaces. While if we go over to applications, this is where we kind of have our classic GNOME application menu here. There's no transparency, it's just a simple application menu. And honestly, I don't really see myself, if I were to be using Cosmic on a full-time basis, see myself using this. What I'm probably gonna end up doing is using the Windows key, which now, by default, is a shortcut to this. And you can see here, this is a launcher. It's a, it has a lot of functionality within it as well. You can easily switch between your various open windows either with your mouse or by simply doing like control two and that will automatically take me to the uh, shortcut for the window I selected. If we go ahead and open that up again, this is all you, also how you go ahead and search for applications. So let's say I wanted to open up the pop shop. I would just type pop enter and now we have the pop shop open and ready to go here. Additionally, if we go ahead and open that up again, it can execute commands and do simple math equations. So that's basically it with the launcher. Very nice tool that they went ahead and added. It's I, I do like it better than the default GNOME thing of hitting the Windows key and it opening up like this, for example, and searching through here. So that is a welcome improvement. So now what we're gonna go ahead and focus on here, let's close out some of these windows I have open is this dock on the bottom. The dock is beautiful. Uh, you see some of the things that we are into. So we have the show launcher uh, button. If you are more inclined to click that instead of just hitting the Windows key, uh, we have show workspaces and show applications. So basically these two shortcuts are also down here. So show workspaces and then the uh, show applications button here. And then we have our Firefox web browser, files, terminal, and pop shop at default. One thing I'm gonna do real quick, let's see if NeoFetch is installed out of the gate. It is not, so I'm gonna install this real quick. So now if I execute NeoFetch, we can see over here that if we go to the desktop environment, it's still showing up as GNOME on here. So I wonder if they're actually gonna go through and try to brand it as Cosmic instead of just um, calling their variation of Gnome Cosmic. I'm, I'm curious to how they're gonna go about that moving forward. So with that said, some other things we're gonna look at real quick. If you right click, you have uh, a lot of the basic stuff. You have display settings and settings. If we go over here to settings, you have a lot of your desktop settings, such as the ability to show various icons on your desktop if you'd like to, and a lot more. But one thing I'm interested in is actually going over into our uh, system settings. And here is where we're gonna be able to configure our desktop and a lot of those things. So from here, if I go over to desktop, this is what I was looking for or what I was hoping for when I first tested it out. And this is where we could customize our appearance, dock, workspaces, and all that fun stuff. So under general, we could actually pick our super key action. So if you don't actually like this thing right here, you could switch this to uh, be the workspaces or the applications shortcut. And the cool thing is in workspaces, if you start typing, it will work like traditional GNOME. 
So if you do set workspaces as your default shortcut, you could still go ahead and search for applications and stuff that way. Additionally, we have the option to have a hot corner here. It's not enabled, but that would be a cool feature if you don't want to go ahead and click. You just want to shoot your mouse up in the corner and access either workspaces or applications that way. We have some top bar customization here. So if you really didn't like the split, everything is optional. So I could just completely get rid of the applications, for example, only have workspaces, and then just use the typing functionality to access those applications. But I actually kind of like that, so I'm gonna keep that enabled. And then here built in, one of my gripes or one of my uh, things with Pop! OS that I originally didn't like is you had to use a GNOME tweak tool to go ahead and add this minimize and maximize button. With Cosmic, you no longer need to do that. It's built into the settings. So I now have my maximize and minimize buttons with a simple click. And we notice that the minimize button is actually there by default. So instead of having to right click and do it that way or configure a keyboard shortcut, it is just right there out of the gate. So what this means is my uh, five things you must do after pop video, uh, installing pop OS video is getting out of date. So you might, you guys might see a new one of those coming out soon once, uh, once I learn this system and figure out everything that you need to do. But based on what I'm seeing for so far, there's not really much you need to do, at least in way of desktop configuring, other than jumping into the settings and actually customizing it to your specific preferences. Uh, so here, that's about it. If we go over to background, you have the basic background settings, and you can see everything that comes with it out of the gate, including the uh, cosmic kind of theme here and a lot of the uh, classic Pop! OS stuff that you'd expect. Under Appearance, we have our Light and Dark theme option, which uh, is good. But here is something that's a little bit new. This is Dock. If you don't like it, like anything else, you can completely disable it. That removes the Dock, and we have that classic Pop! OS look. If you do like it, let's go ahead and enable it. Easy as that. And you can pick what display it showed on. You can set to automatically high. You can extend the dock to the edges of the screen. So me personally, I would probably end up keeping it like this because if we, um, if you see my main desktop, even with KDE Plasma, I kind of uh, sink it in a little bit. So I have some empty room on the edges. So this is something I'd probably end up keeping like this right here. But for this video, we're going to go ahead and keep it at default. And right here, you see it says to do. So you're going to be able to actually disable and enable these icons right here from the dock if you do not like them. So that's pretty cool. And it is beta. So that's why it says to do. But that feature will be in implemented soon. So you could get rid of the show applications, show workspace and show launcher buttons right here. And then we have our dock size. You can set the pre-configured sizes that they recommend or go with a custom size. So if I went with large, you can see it gets bigger. If I go with small, it, it looks really good. I'd probably end up sticking with small with uh, this one selected just like this if I was running it, but I'm gonna keep everything at default for now. Uh, position of the dock. This is very handy. You could have it on the left side or on the right side, depending on your preferences. Uh, I do personally prefer it at the bottom, but it's good that you could go ahead and change that. If we go over to workspaces, we have uh, customization options here. You have dynamic and fixed. So for example, if we are over in workspaces, you can see that there's two. If I go to a new workspace and open an application, you can see that there is now three available. But if you want there to always be four available, for example, you can switch it to fixed. The default is four. And then if I go over to workspaces, you can see I have four there. You can keep it at dynamic. And then right here, we do have some multi-monitor behavior, so you can span the uh, workspaces between all this, the displays or all the workspaces are gonna be within your primary display only. And this is another little to-do thing that they're gonna be working on here is the ability to select where this workspace thing is. So based on this, it's, you're gonna be able to have it anywhere from the left side, right side, bottom of the screen or top of the screen similar to that of uh, GNOME 40 where they went ahead and moved that. So that is gonna be something that's gonna be a very nice feature to be able to go ahead and change. And lastly, with any Pop! OS desktop, we have the ability to have tiling built in. So you saw most of my windows I have open are all um, floating windows, but over here, you just click this little icon that has the tiles, you select tiling windows, and there we go. And it's really cool because the default settings with the gaps and everything are basically how I would like it. 
You could go ahead and use the mouse to control this, or you could go through your settings and change your shortcuts, such as your launcher. You could uh, navigate windows. So for me, it's hold down the super key and hit the over button. So you can see that is selecting different windows. So you do have the full integrated tiling window manager type feature within this Pop! OS Cosmic and any other version of Pop! OS built in. And the beautiful thing about this is it's very easy to customize. You can see I have the uh, show window tiles, show active hint, which I really like. So if you go ahead and select that, it gives the uh, active window that you're currently using a border. Uh, right now it's an orange border by default, but right here you could go ahead and change that with any color that you can possibly imagine. Uh, and then if we go over here, we could change our gaps. So if you wanted it to be a little bit dramatic for like a screenshot or something like that, you could go ahead and do that. Or if you actually prefer this, that's, that's on you. Uh, if we go ahead and click on shortcuts, it brings up a list of all the shortcuts we have available to us. So it's a very easy cheat sheet to go ahead and learn this. Uh, you can use the arrow keys, but they also do support Vim shortcuts when it comes to navigating through your windows with the directional keys. So that is about it for now. When it comes to Pop! OS Cosmic, they are doing a lot as far as making this truly their own and trying to get away from GNOME, at least by the looks of it. Uh, it is still heavily based on GNOME and uses a lot of the GNOME environment stuff, and it literally uses GNOME. Uh, for the time being, it is going to be nice when it is fully released and officially released. Um, this is shipping with here. Let's go ahead and open up NeoFetch one more time. It's um, NeoFetch. It is shipping with their official release of Pop! OS 21.04, which is based on Ubuntu 21.04. We are using Mutter, Dark Theme by default, or the Pop Dark Theme. And of course we are using Bash, and at least this beta version is shipping with the 5.11 kernel. So I do hope you enjoyed this. There'll be a link in the description to the GitHub page, as well as uh, if you're currently running Pop! OS, you could actually upgrade to this beta by typing in a couple simple commands, and you are good to go. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and you ring that bell so you do not miss any future uploads similar to this one. Leave a comment, let me know what you're running, and if you plan on trying this out in the future. Uh, with all that said, I do hope you have a beautiful day, and goodbye.